Hey Nikki, how much slow motion do you want for this shot? Yes. Hi there, Augie with Visual Impact and in this video I'll dive into the world of the brand new Alexa 35 Extreme by showing you some footage I shot with the camera that Ari kindly let me use for a bit after our in-house hands-on event. The new Extreme represents the natural evolution of the Alexa 35 platform, now with more horsepower, giving you access to some impressive super slow motion frame rates, usually reserved for specialist cameras. And while the body design of the camera remains the same, the upgrades are on the inside. These improvements make the new Alexa 35 Extreme more power efficient by about 10% compared to the OG Alexa 35, and we also get longer pre-record times, which will be greatly appreciated by sports and wildlife cinematographers. The new camera also gets better connectivity, such as dual band Wi-Fi antennas, now with support for 5 GHz networks, and the ability to reconnect automatically to previously used Wi-Fi networks. But I know that you're here to see some super slow motion footage shot with the new camera and the new Aricore codec, so let's get to it. All footage shot in this video was done with the Ari Enzo Primes, namely the 75mm, 32mm and the 80mm wide angle, alongside some shots with the Enzo Vintage Elements, which I'll show you a bit later on. The new Aricore codec that Ari introduced with the Alexa 35 Extreme is a big part of what makes the Extreme capable of some insanely fast frame rates such as 330 and 660 frames per second. Aricore is an RGB codec which means it's already been debayered so it isn't uncompressed like Adi Raw, and it's not a raw codec. But that's actually a good thing because it's much more efficient when it comes to data. It uses roughly the same data rate as ProRes 444, which is a very robust and established codec which every editor and colorist is familiar with. However, unlike ProRes, which can be limited in post when it comes to heavy grading, Adicore gives you a lot more flexibility in post. You can change your white balance and exposure, and the only thing that's baked in is your debayer. And I think that's a fair price to pay in order to access some incredible frame rates not available in Adi Raw. Right now, you'll need to open Adicore files with the Adi reference tool, which is a free download from the official Adi website, and then you can add Adi textures or export ungraded into ProRes 444 or XQ, for example, and then ingest this transcoded footage into your NLE of choice. Mine was Resolve 20 for this video. At the moment, native Adicore support is not available in Resolve or other programs apart from the Adi reference tool. However, Ari told me that native support for Resolve for Adicore should be coming at some point very soon. I'd also imagine the same thing for Avid and Premiere Pro at some stage. Paying tribute to the high-speed film camera workhorse, there was the Adiflex 435 Extreme. The new Alexa 35 Extreme can unlock the maximum high-speed frame rates through a special feature called Sensor Overdrive. The new Sensor Overdrive mode doubles the 330 frames per second in 2K to 660 and gives you up to 240 frames per second in 3.8K widescreen, while the 4.6K open gate gets up to 165, which should be quite sufficient for the majority of productions requiring super slow motion. However, as with all things in life, there's no free lunch, and it's only natural that prioritizing high frame rates comes at the expense of something. And in sensor overdrive, it is a reduction in dynamic range by about 6 stops in the highlights, as well as an increased base sensitivity to 1600. In this mode, in the extreme frame rates, you can see noise and image softness creep in, but in my opinion, from the samples that I shot, they are still very usable once you give them a bit of sharpening and noise reduction in post. Exposure gets a bit tricky here, so you really need to be careful and nail your exposure since you are more limited as opposed to the normal sensor mode where you can get access to that sweet 17 stops of dynamic range of the LF4 sensor. Shooting in high speed frame rates over 240 is usually specialty camera territory such as the Phantom cameras. The Alexa 35 Extreme may not replace the need for super slow motion purpose built cameras entirely. They do offer high frame rates in excess of 1000 frames per second, for example, which some shoots require, but for 90 plus percent of commercials or narrative projects, in my opinion, the Alexa 35 Extreme covers pretty much all bases. 240 frames per second looks fantastic, and the top end 330 and the 660 even 
even though limited in terms of dynamic range or resolution, can easily blend in with other footage when graded properly. I'm no colorist for sure, but I can't see any issues that can be polished and resolved by a professional editor and colorist, granted that the footage was exposed correctly, all things considered. From the footage that we shot, I can easily see the 3.8K widescreen being a very popular choice in Articore as it gives you access to 240 frames per second. The odd thing, however, to keep in mind here is that 240 frames per second is the same maximum speed in sensor overdrive as well as in non-overdrive. So in my opinion, it's probably better to just stick to non-overdrive for this mode since it gives you access to the maximum dynamic range. I have a feeling that Adi may actually expand this uh, option to more frame rates in sensor overdrive in 3.8K widescreen. In future updates, however, that's just pure speculation on my part. Either way, 3.8K mode produces some lovely footage. The results also in 2K, 330 frames per second are not too bad. They're pretty good, very usable. And yes, there is a notable resolution drop. However, the slow motion is smooth and with a bit of touch up in post, it looks awesome. Looking at some of the Articore footage, in particular in post, you can see great detail and it's so easy to work with. I think Articore will be a very popular choice for most productions and it will take the majority share of the in-camera capture that's normally done today in ProRes 444, for example, as Articore gives you the best of both worlds, the post-production flexibility, as well as the data efficiency of ProRes. This makes Articore the ideal workhorse codec, in my opinion. The Alexa 35 Extreme replaces the original Alexa 35, and existing owners have an option to upgrade their cameras to fully functioning Extreme models. This is a hardware upgrade which needs to be done at Adi. We've already booked many of our customers and have sent our own Alexa 35 fleet for an upgrade with Adi. So if you're interested in upgrading your Alexa 35, get in touch via the links below. Alternatively, the Alexa 35 Extreme can be purchased outright as a brand new camera is either a base or a fully loaded premium license, in addition to various sets including operator and production sets. We currently have an Alexa 35 Extreme premium production set in stock, ready to ship for those interested. I also shot some samples with the Enzo Primes and the Enzo Vintage Elements, which give you a sort of dreamy, silky background, which brings a unique flavor to your image, opening up numerous creative possibilities. The filters are rear-mounted, and use a magnetic ring mechanism, which is super easy to install. There are no tools required, you just pop it on and off. And the set also includes an empty ring, which you can use to create your own filter. There are three positive and three negative strengths of filters. And in these shots, I use namely the medium and the strongest of the two to give you an idea of how much you can alter the image. The Adi Companion app has been now updated to support the new Alexa 35 Extreme giving you control over the main parameters of the camera from your smartphone. In summary, I think the Alexa 35 Extreme is a fantastic camera. The expanded slow motion functionality paired with the much more efficient and post-production friendly Adicore codec gives DOPs and directors so much more creative freedom, especially for commercials, drama and wildlife. Once again, I want to thank the good people at Adi for giving us the opportunity to shoot some footage with the new Alexa 35 Extreme. I also want to thank my colleagues Andy, Nikki and Elliot for helping out with the shoot. I hope this was useful. If you want to see more content like this, consider dropping us a like and subscribe to our channel. I'm sure you'll have lots of questions. Do drop them below in the comments and I'll see you in the next video.